an aircraft with a mass of 2500 kilogram is hovering Ten thousand meter above the ground. Ten thousand meter above the ground. But he is asking us now. A. If the radius of Earth is six three seven zero kilometer, how far the aircraft from the center of the Earth? So A is if radius of earth if radius of earth is 6370 km how far the aircraft is from center of earth This is very basic. What we need is we need to add these two distances because it's just like this that we got Earth whose radius is radius of Earth and it's given here 6370 kilometer and we also got 10,000 uh, meter height here. So, so this is our R1, a small R1 and this is radius of Earth. So what will it be? Total distance between aircraft and the center of Earth let's say capital R is equal to R plus radius of Earth. I can write this, this, this part, this is uh, 10,000 kilometer is, uh, 10,000 meter is 10 kilometer plus 6370 uh, kilometer. So what we get 6380 kilometer. So that's the distance above which the aeroplane is uh, moving from the center of the earth. So this, this will be the total distance between the center of earth and the aeroplane or aircraft. So let's learn now what's the next question. How much upward force must the aircraft engine be providing to be able to keep it hovering at a constant altitude? The mass of earth is 5.98 times 10 to the power 24 kg. So this is another constant that we need to remember is 5.9 times 10 to the power 24 kg is the mass of earth and we need to find the force so b part what does it say it says that how much upward force must the aircraft engine be providing how much upward force must the aircraft engine be providing to keep hovering okay so that's the uh, uh, question and the mass of earth he is given the mass of earth is it's a constant, you can remember it, mass of earth, memorize it, 5.98 times 10 to the power 24 kilograms. Okay. So this is the problem and we need a solution. So what, 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 what can we do? We can find the force. The force that's, that it stops it from falling down from this position must be equal to the gravitational force acting in this direction but that force will be opposite. So the two forces will balance out each other and the net force will be zero. So what we can do, we can find the gravitational force Fg is equal to G mass of aircraft, mass of earth divided by distance between the aircraft and uh, uh, the distance between the aircraft and the center of earth. So it's capital R square, okay? And we, we need to substitute these values now, which are G is 
6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 mass of aircraft is 2500 kilograms so it's 2.5 times 10 to the power 3 and mass of earth is 5.98 times 10 to the power 24 and divided by the r is now the distance between the, the 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 radius of earth plus the distance between the surface of earth and aircraft which we found is 6380 times 10 to the power 3 square so always when you are solving this type of problem keep in mind that you are using system international units okay so take an extra care of the units we are using and what do we get out of this so force will become equal to 245 